I'm going to take it and put it on the sandpaper and I'm going to tilt it a little bit so the flat is, because when I put the fin on, it's going to be tilted out a little bit and I want to make sure it fits flat on the board because the board's, generally the board's got double concaves in the back end. I, I want it to fit tight. I want all this to be touching the board. So it's just a, just a little bit of a tilt. You can see that, can you? And just a little sand. It takes up maybe half a minute. This is a, a tri-set glass on. A friend of mine, Jack, made for me. And this is the center fin. And that one, you want that one flat. These are the two outside fins. You should be able to see a little V. How uh, it's tilted. Because the fins are going to go like that. Now that should be two flats. Here, now what I'm going to do right now is put some tape down to uh, hold the fins in place. And then I have one right across here. I'll just have that ready to use. Okay, I'm going to mix up uh, the solar res, and because this part won't be in the sun, the underneath, I'm going to add just a little bit of catalyst. Well, the center one goes straight up and down. The outside ones are towed out a, a little bit, but not much. And just a few. Depends on the temperature and the volume. It's pretty hot today, so it doesn't take very much. You just want a little resin underneath. This is why I put to put the catalyst on. Because the UV resin only works if the sun gets to it. Okay. I got my pencil line for guidance. You can kind of get the feel of where it goes. Pretty close and just touch it up later and then just uh, tape it down. Center one. Okay, right about there. Got the tape started on one side and I come across and just make sure it's in the center. Tighten it up a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty good. And now for the last one. And after I get them pretty close, I'll come back and eyeball it. There we go. Okay. Right about there. Got the center fin needs to come over this way just a tad. And I just do with it, use the stringer. And that looks pretty good. This one needs to be tilted out just a whisper. It's towed in and tilted out. There. I'm going to add just a little bit. A couple of drops here, right in the front, so it'll run down the side, hopefully, and then put it out in the sun real fast. And all this that's exposed to the sun will, um, will go up. Yeah, just helps tack it on a little bit more. Then it'll run down the sides. I'll touch it up as soon as I get them all done here. You see it running down the side there a little bit. It just adds to the tension. There, you can see it working. Okay, I'm just going to carry it out in the sun. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah, yeah those fins are on good. Right at the, uh, the edge of where the other sanding coat was on the top. There. There. Now, uh, 
The next part I have to do is cut out the uh, this fin rope that goes on either side of the fin. About five strands on each side. And then uh, a layer of uh, fiberglass that I'm only going to lap it up to about here. Some people lap the whole fin up. But since this fin is a fiberglass fin, I'm just going to adhere it from here to about here where the foil stops. And then after I hot coat it, when I come back to sand it, I'll just foil it in, feather it in. And the rope will hold it on, and the fiberglass holds the rope in place, and you get a nice bond to the bottom of the board. Before I do that, I'm going to get all these extra strands off so they don't come off while I'm laminating and just cause trouble. I'm going to saturate them all at once, and then I can pick up a layer at a time after they're all saturated and just place them. So there's uh, four pieces of equal size. They're going to go one, two, three, four. And these two outside pieces are a little narrower because you've got the narrower space there. Basically what I'm going to do now is just saturate everything, just get everything wet. And you don't have to worry about the extra drips because you're going to come back with the squeegee and clean everything up. Wet out the cloth, make sure the cloth is all wet. Now four layers here, so that takes a little bit longer. And then uh, just saturate the rope. I got a little trick that makes the rope stronger, but let me make sure it's all wet. Just for right now, we'll just get everything set up. If you take the rope and you give it a little twist, it makes for a stronger bond. And you just butt it up right against the side of the fin. Take one layer of the glass off. Just ease it on in there. And now this one here on the side, I need one of those two narrow pieces. I'm real close to the rail. Little twist. Butter it up next to the fin. And the it right in there. Push it in. Right to the edge of the rail of the board. There. And you get a nice good seal. Now the same thing on the other side. You can see how it fits better with the curve of the rail line. Alright, so take your the inside of your thumbs. And you can just, it makes a perfect curve, and you just squeezy out the, the excess bubbles. Push it together right here, and it'll squeeze out all the bubbles. Okay, now the next thing I need to do is take the squeegee and come back and just scrape all the excess resin off. And also, uh, to tighten up the glass. Put it out in the sun. And surfacing agent. The first thing you do is brush the sides of the pin. Gotta put that, make sure that's all got the sanding coat on it. Sand, sanding coat. the part we didn't use, save that for the next time. We don't waste anything. 